Tech billionaire Elon Musk has mocked Anthony Albanese's social media crackdown hours after his platform was again ordered to remove graphic content. Let's take you live to our political editor, Andrew Clennell. Andrew, Elon Musk seems pretty keen to turn this into an ideological battle with the Prime Minister. Yes, and it is going to be a battle. I can tell you this afternoon, Ash, that the government is ready for long and protracted legal action against Elon Musk, against X or Twitter or whatever you want to call it. That is what they're preparing for if it is necessary. From the government's point of view, this is not about freedom of speech. This video of a stabbing in the Wakeley church attack, it will be banned on TV it would be banned on computer games. They are simply seeking the same sort of adherence to rules that an organisation like Sky News or a commercial television network has to undertake. And a, a comparison in relation to this is the way that Meta, Facebook, has dealt with the Bondi and Wakely stabbing attacks. Let's have a look at this statement from Meta. They can comply, they can take down videos even when they're re reposted. Why can't X, says the government? For both incidents, we reached out to key authorities to confirm we were aware of the incidents and working to identify and act on any online components of the attacks. And they spoke to the National Operations and State Service Centre at New South Wales, New South Wales Police State Intelligence Command and the Office of the E-Safety Commissioner. Our Australia specialist team started to review and action any content related to the incidents reported by users that violated our policies and we used internal tools to surface all live streams and block any copies of videos that depicted the attacks. And they go on. When we received the Class 1 removal notice from the eSafety Commissioner in relation to the Wakeley attack, we quickly responded to confirm we had already been taking action in relation to the content, that was the subject of the notice. Now, there's an Online Safety Act review going on. It was supposed to occur after three years. The Communications Minister, Michelle Rowland, brought it forward two years. If the government has to ban X from Australia as a result of this, it will do so. I don't think it will come to that, Ash. I think that a court order will be made and Twitter will comply including removing posts that are reposted in relation to this. But let's see. The Prime Minister's made himself clear. Elon Musk is having a go back on Twitter. But ultimately, if he wants to remain in Australia, he has to comply with the rulings of the courts. Here's the PM this morning. Well, this is a bloke who's chosen ego and showing violence over common sense. This bloke thinks he's above everyone. Well, that's not the way that Australia operates. I say to Elon Musk uh, that he is so out of touch with what the Australian public want. And Andrew, Western Sydney in the frame today for our politicians? Yes, well, the Daily Telegraph is running this campaign that seems like an effective one, saying when you made these infrastructure cuts because you said there wasn't enough labour to, to, to build the project projects, should I say, you cut tens of millions from road funding in Western Sydney. Now, we've got a budget coming up, and here are some of the seats that are affected if the government is brave enough to continue this course of action, I suppose. They could lose their majority easily on the basis of these seats. Reid, Benelong, Parramatta, Werriwa and Lindsay. Werriwa's margin, I believe, is actually about 5% as is Parramatta's. But these are all vulnerable seats. Lindsay is a Liberal seat, as we know. They are uh, but uh, one that is always seen as winnable. The other seats, apart from where were there, they've changed hands in the past. Where it was susceptible to someone like Ned Manoon, the Liverpool mayor running at just a 5% margin, Gough Whitlam and Mark Latham's old seat. So Jim Chalmers yesterday said there would be extra funding for Western Sydney in the budget. I believe the government is considering that and they are in discussions with the New South Wales government about various road projects. So ultimately, the Telegraph could be successful in this campaign, Ash, and that wouldn't be the first time I've seen that happen. Here was the Treasurer on Western Sydney yesterday. Yeah, I'm a huge believer in Western Sydney. 
Uh, I think Western Sydney is in many ways the hope of the side when it comes to uh, the way that we want to build an economy that delivers for more people. Uh, and you'll ex you should expect to see that reflected in the decisions that we take in the budget. But I say to the people of Western Sydney, uh, you will be a big priority uh, in the budget on the 14th of May. Uh, tax cuts for every taxpayer, uh, more cost of living help if we can afford to do that, uh, and investments in a really important part of Australia. Jim Chalmers there, Andrew Clinnell, appreciate the analysis as always. Only, what, three weeks or so to go until Budget Day when all will be revealed. Thank you for that.